What's up, y'all? Back at it with another one. I want to first say I hope you guys are having a beautiful and blessed day. Uh, let's get straight into today's topic. Now, today I am talking about you are God. You, right there. You're God. All right. What do I mean by this? Now, a lot of people believe that God is an external thing, that he is not within you, yourself, that you are God. Now, why do people believe this? Well, I mean, I'm not going to go into it right now, but religions, you know, religions really enslave and trap a lot of people's minds, a lot of people's consciousness. Personally, I think that was the whole point of religion too. you know, keep you on a certain level of consciousness. But we ain't, we ain't going to get into that one. Um, <laughs> a lot of people believe that they are not God, that they are not the infinite creator. Now, another reason why people may think this, another reason why people may believe this, it's it's a lot of responsibility. It's a lot of responsibility to know that you are God, that you are infinite created, that anything you have created today and tomorrow is due to your creation. So when a bad thing happens, when a low vibrational situation happens, you believe that you have to enact you have to react in a low vibrational way because you're in a low vibrational situation, not knowing that you created that low vibrational situation so you can actually test yourself to react in a high vibrational way. That's why when you get into a situation, you always think, oh, maybe I should have went the high vibrational way. That is your, that's your higher self talking to you. That's your higher self telling you that that was just a test that you sent for yourself. And at the end of the day, that's what life is. Life is just a test that the infinite creator made himself. It's like, would you play GTA if it didn't have cops in it? Would you play GTA if it didn't have mentioned in it? It'd literally just be nothing, right? That's how life is. Life has trips, tribulations. It has duality. It has balance because... We need to go through the bad shit and the good shit at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So if a low vibrational situation happens to you and you are aware that you are God, that you have created this situation for yourself, then you can react in a high vibrational way. You have to have this awareness that you are God, that you are God. Once you really realize this, once you... I would even put it in your affirmations. Say something like, I am an infinite spiritual being. I am the universe and the universe is within me. I am God and God is me. Something, something, something along those lines. Because once you get that shit into your subconscious mind, you start creating your own reality. See, it's like this. A lot of people say manifestations don't work. Law of attraction don't work. Any of these things don't work. Well, first you have to realize that you are raw, that you are one. How are you going to create anything if you don't know that you're the infinite creator? Before you can manifest anything within your life, you have to really grasp this concept that you are the infinite creator. And that, once again, that takes a lot of responsibility because you are not only saying that everything in the future I created, you are also saying everything in the past I created. So any of these traumatic situations that has happened to all of us, I've went through traumatic things, you went through traumatic things, Everybody has went through traumatic things. That's not it's not top. You know what I'm saying? The point is, you have to accept these traumatic things because you created it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, I don't know what happened in your life. But at the end of the day, man, you have to accept it. And you have to accept that you created the situation for yourself. Why did you create this traumatic thing? Because you wanted to go through it so it can make you a stronger person, a more intelligent person, so it can enhance uh, your being. You get what I'm saying? So it's like this. Does evolution happen by sitting on the couch and doing nothing? No, evolution happens within discomfort. Within discomfort is when evolution happens. When you're working out, you don't um, get stronger on the second rep. You get stronger on the 20th rep, on the 15th rep, on the 12th rep. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it takes to get you there. The way muscles actually work is that they tear and then they have to rebuild. That's how evolution works. That's how life works. That's how your that's how your being works. That's how your emotional self works. You have to go through something that tears you, that damages you, 
so you can repair. That's why if you get a scab, that that spot that you got hurt on, it grows back stronger. That's how it, that's what it is, my nigga. Once you go through something traumatic, once you go through something that's hard, it becomes, it makes you stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. This is the same for a reason. You know what I'm saying? It, what doesn't kill you literally makes you stronger. So once you realize you are a guy, you have to accept your past. You have to accept your future because you have been creating all of it. Not just some of it, all of it. Everybody you see in your uh, two eyes, you've created it. Bro, you chose your parents. You chose your siblings. You chose your grandma. You chose everything. Because you are the infinite creator. The creator literally said, I, I'm going to go through this constellation. My soul is going to go through this constellation. I'm going to be reincarnated on earth. I'm going to go through these experiences. Because he, the he, she, they, whatever it is they. But you know what I'm saying? They want to know everything. That's the whole mission. They want to know everything from everybody's perspective. So there's some people who will never wake up to this knowledge. And that's that's a part of the creation. That's a part of the creator. The creator wanted to go through an experience where it didn't even know the knowledge. That it is the creator. You know what I'm saying? But there's some experiences like you and me. If you accept this, if you resonate with what I'm saying, if you don't, it's whatever. But it's like you and me, we know that we're the creator. Once we know this. That is our superpower. Once you know that you are the creator, once you accept that you are the creator, then you can create anything. Okay? See, I've been put on this knowledge since I was 16. But I haven't accepted it since mid this year. Once I really started to get on my shit since June. And now... I'm creating my own reality slowly and slowly or because I'm I'm realizing I'm awakening to this information. Anything that has happened to me, anything that will happen to me, I'm accepting every day. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the subconscious mind. Okay. So you are God. You are the creator. Accept this fact and you can create literally anything in your reality. Read books like Dick and Go Rich. Read books like uh, Paramahansa uh, fuck it, Autobiography of Yogi. Read books like this. Read books that solidify this belief. Because if you a lot of a lot of people talk about it. Rich people talk about it. You hear Steve Jobs, he say some shit like this. Rich people say it. My fucking yogi say it. It's it's a common it's a common trope and it's a common information that you are God. We just don't want to believe it because it takes a lot of responsibility. But once you accept this responsibility. You can truly create anything you want. And when I mean anything you want, I mean anything you want. Whatever you want to be, you can be it. Okay? You just got to realize these things. And you got to raise your vibration. But I think that's it for this one. Peace out, y'all.